Do you think too much of these shows, because you you've been a part of it now two, three seasons, too much of these shows, I mean, are staged. Are they staging too much of these scenes? It's, I think, yeah, I think now it is becoming very, a very much a production. From, from the footage that I have seen, it, it's obvious it's choppy because there's a whole lot of other information that leads up to the show. And I understand we have 16 episodes this year. So there's a whole lot of footage that's missing to they have in mind what they want and that's what they put in there and if you look at it it's choppy mm -hmm. it's not it's editing. not flowing yeah. you know and just from my point of view and my perspective there's a lot of really dialogue that's really good dialogue and okay. education uh, that it doesn't make the cut yeah, I mean is. it's cut out you know so it's really about buffoonery the first year and this last year the two first years was really reality I don't know what you call this today uh oh Okay. If anybody from the from the cast logs on to magicatl.com, they're gonna find this. Yeah. And I, okay. Am I so, to care? Sheree, what what would you like to say to Sheree? I don't know to say to Sheree. If she, if you could say something to Sheree, what would you like to say? What could I say to Sheree? I mean, we've gone over this. This is a whole year after the fact. She know what I've done. The Bravo Network knows what I've done. Glenn and everybody that was in the room know, and not only that, they have the footage. If you doubt anything, so your contribution to her show is my, what it is. You guys spent upwards of my, thirty thousand dollars. My contribution, time money, resources, what have you. I have something to say to you. I mean, and I and I think that in every situation, there's a lesson to be learned, and it's something indicative about our community, the black community, that we're always got to be a crab in a bucket. But it's really something wrong there's a psychosis uh, associated with when someone really invests in you that you can't reach back and pay it for mm. these are people that invested into charade be invested into her line she was supposed to take that platform and move forward and really propel herself and her product forward but in the meantime reach back to help the people that helped you mm. but i think this ought to lead to a greater dialogue as to what is really wrong with our community why can't we just help each other right and, and say thank you, and like you said, pay it forward. And Nini, if I had to say something about Nini, Nini that's what, that, yeah. that what I would say about Nini is, is really don't allow someone who manipulated you in the past to manipulate you today. If we know that Kim, you know, um, if you really had to choke this person from the last time for being, you know, a troublemaker and seedy, why would you trust this person today? But at the end of the day, you really evaluate your friendship based on the investment that they make into you and your family. But it's not enough to make yourself look like a fool for $500 on TV. And if you want to be an example, you have to be an example, not just to your fans, but to your children. Mm. And if you really want your son to be a better person and a better human being, then it starts with you. Mm. Starts at your address, not outside the home. You got that right. Okay. Do you have anything to add to that? <laughs> no, I, I really don't. Okay. You know, it's just... But I'm just saying, we, you know, because you guys have the freedom to say what you like now. I mean, well, it's, you, know, I, you know, I pretty much have said what I had to say, and okay. my feelings is, is I'm over it at okay. this point, you know. And, and no I love lost, no friendship lost, you're fine with it. I can't, I can't, I can't hang on to negative energy and, and things of the past. I have to move on. You know, it was a gift give, uh, given to me, a talent. The, the Lord put it on my heart. This was not my work. This was not my battle. And they would have to deal with that. I've done what I was supposed to do. You know, I've walked in the footsteps that he told me to walk into. So, therefore, I, I have peace with myself. I have peace within. So, I have no animosity toward none of them. I love them all. And it, just like I would help a stranger, why wouldn't I help somebody that I know? But that's who I am. I can't let, allow them or anybody else change who I am because my blessings don't come from you. It don't come from nobody else. It come from above. And he put it in my heart to do. So, I've done what I was supposed to do. You know, I, I we are not in control of anything. You know, we all were created from what dirt, and at the end of the day, we're gonna go back to dirt. So, what make you think your dirt is better than my dirt? Mm. Just because you have a degree, because you live in a nice house, because you have a nice car, dirt is dirt. He thought enough of you to blow air into your dirt to create you. So, at the end of the day, you know, we just got to embrace each other. You know, that's the problem that we have in our community, and I'm just you know, signifying what Glenn have said, and it's true, and I see it all the time. I see it in all the other communities, how they support and help mm -hmm. each other. But you, to, oh, in order to know where you're going, you got to know where you come from. You know, and I realize 
I'm only doing the, the work of the Lord. And it was his grace. You know, I'm just, I've just got to run on. 99 and a half won't do. Mm -hmm. I got to make 100. Mm -hmm. And I can't allow them to stop my race, this battle. They may have won the battle, but the war has not been fought. Any regrets for doing this show at all? Yeah, I have lots of regrets, and it depends on the day. You know, but, Today, but do you have any regrets with the show? I'm just so neutral right now. I, I'm numb. You know, but I'm disappointed, yes, because I'm disappointed in, one, how I have been portrayed this year. And uh, it was not necessary. You know, and I feel as though that I am the sacrificial lamb this season. And I, I get it. I understand. I know they went to the producers last year and said that I had too much airtime. They didn't like the fact that I was called a sixth housewife when I was not a woman at all. And But you have to realize, I don't want to be a woman. I never wanted to be a woman. You know, I like everything the Lord gave me. So if, by chance, I can switch it up just for a little while and just go back to what I, w I am, I would do it just to show them how it should be done. Because when you're ignorant, somebody got to show you some difference. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to teach you. And show you the way, the right way to do things. And apparently nobody have thought enough of them to show them and to teach them. And that's the sad part. They all have kids. All the kids that I have ever groomed and raised, they are doing wonderful. Mm -hmm. they, none of them have never been in jail. They all have their uh, degrees. They've all gone on to get their license to do hair. They all have clientele. So my, I have kids. I have a lot of kids mm -hmm. that I mentor to. And I make sure that they do the right thing. So I teach them. You show them by teaching them and being an example to them. So I've done what I do. So I suggest that they, instead of getting, out, getting plastic surgery and all these other things, get inner peace. Heal yourself from within and beauty, your outer beauty will show. You don't, you don't have to go get no plastic surgery. What you need to do is get a therapist and work with the inside healing first. And then the outer beauty will show. That's where beauty began. It don't begin on the outside. You don't build the house, paint the house first before you put in a foundation. In order for a house to hold up and sustain a storm, you got to put that concrete in. And if that concrete is not solid on a foundation, that house is going to shift. You can't decorate and put the furniture in until that foundation is done. You got to do step by steps. And it's a process. Mm -hmm. It's a process. Nobody has ever built a house by painting it first. Does that make sense? <laughs> No, it does not. No. So, I mean, I'm, I'm good with it, you know, and I will continue to, to try to help them and anybody else that I can. You know, like I said earlier, there were so many components, and I gave them a list of really shakers and movers in this city that were really doing things. And I told the producers after this fight, how can you come to this city and not film King's Week, the national holiday? How can you come to, in February, that close to January, and don't, you can't push it up. You don't want any substance. You don't want to see that. How could you not film the Trumpet Awards? How mm. could you come to the this, this city and you never mention Zanona Clayton? Mm. You know, it's certain people that in this town, you just can't get around them. You know, you got civil rights leaders that still, Mrs. Lowry, mm -hmm. I, the, the, her drum majors for justice. That was on my schedule. Did they film it? No. They Did they film um, um, the the, the foundation that Phaedra works with where they uh, the, the children shelter mm -hmm. you know there was a young lady that went to Washington High School she was was born in the shelter true story she her mother died in the process her address was the shelter's address because in order to go to the public school you have to have an address okay. that was the address they used this young lady put herself through high school fluent in French she went to Paris this summer to study French that's mm -hmm. an amazing story mm -hmm. But again, you can put little things in there along with the buffoonery, but at some point, you got to lift us up. There's enough fighting going on. You know, if you want to fight a war, take your ass onto Iraq. <laughs> you know, I mean, if that's right. what you want to do, be a real soldier. Right. I mean, you want to get in somebody's face, go over there and fight. But how are you going to write a book with crayons about, and crayons about domestic violence? And you still out here talking and fighting domestic abuse. That's just not right. So that's what I think. Okay. So I asked him what he thought. He said he had nothing to say. Well, I, 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 I don't really, I, but you know, I, I, I say that because I don't really, I really not, rather not put their laundry out there like that. I'd like to let them go out with a little dignity and a little class and being a lady. But if you don't see yourself a lady, how do you expect for me to see you as a lady? Mm. 
I think that's the million dollar question.